Hello to all Star Wars fans, and in particular those who liked Balin Skull, the Dark Jedi from the Ahsoka series. This character can definitely be called the new star of Star Wars. Sorry for the tautology. Due to his image, skills and outlook on life, Balin has gained an army of fans in just a few episodes. It's a pity that Ray Stevenson couldn't fully experience the fan love so early, but his character will continue to live on the screen. As for Balin himself, most people are interested in his past shrouded in mystery. We know that at some point he became disillusioned with the Jedi Order and left it. He survived Order 66, acquired a student, Shin Hati, survived for 30 years and formed an alliance with Grand Admiral Thrawn. Moreover, from his own words, we learn that he was familiar with Anakin Skywalker in his early years and not just an acquaintance, but even a friend. Agree, Balin's past has a huge scope for writing an interesting story, the one that Dave Filoni loves. Write in the comments right now, do you want to see a prequel, the main character of which will be Balin's skull? I think you've already figured out what I'm getting at. Tales of the Jedi is the second season. In my personal opinion, Balin is an ideal candidate for the main role of one of the story arcs. Now is the perfect time to reveal this hero to the fullest. Remember what the first season of the short film anthology was about. Tales of the Jedi is an excellent project that, first of all, shows a turning point in the lives of Count Dooku and Ahsoka Tano, the moment when they make an important life decision for themselves. Dooku became disillusioned with the Republic and the inaction of the Jedi Order and decided to switch to the dark side of the Force, while Ahsoka got tired of hiding from the Empire and decided to join the Rebellion. And you know, when I look at Balin's skull and remember all the things he talked about in the series, I understand that he is well suited for the second season of Tales of the Jedi, because his story is very familiar to the story of Count Dooku. Fall of the Jedi, Rise of the Empire. It repeats again, and again, and again. At some point, Balin also became disillusioned with the Jedi Order, but we do not know how this happened, how he left it, and how he was able to survive Order 66. In addition, his friendship with Anakin is a great option for the first episode about Balin's early years at the Jedi Temple because they could be good friends, train together, and attend different classes. It is quite important that their history is also very similar. Both were disappointed in the Order at the time, but if Balin decided to peacefully leave the Jedi, then Skywalker took drastic measures. Knowing how much Filoni likes to add Anakin to all possible projects, this option sounds very logical. The second episode would show us that very moment of disappointment and then reveal exactly how Balin left the Order and what he was doing all the time that he was in self-imposed exile. Well, the third series would take us back to the time of the Galactic Empire when the already aged Balin decided to enter into a secret alliance with the Empire and would well reveal his motivation for remaking the universe. Also, this episode would show us how Balin found Shin Hati and took her for training. Thus, we will get a Balin story arc with the story of a really interesting and important character. Considering that Dave Filoni himself is engaged in Tales of the Jedi and Balin is a character created by him personally, I'm growing confident that the story of young Balin will turn out really amazing, and the second season of the anthology of short films with its inherent style is the ideal project to reveal such a colourful hero. Especially now that the Ahsoka series has been continued, Balin's past has begun to play with new colours. I want to know even more about why he left the Order and became a Dark Jedi. And although in one of the previous videos I named other candidates for the main role, like Sifo Diaz or Quinlan Voss, I like the idea of dedicating several episodes to Balin Skull much more. When was the last time a brand new TV series character aroused such great interest in his person? None of the recent projects have had this, well, with the exception of Grogu. I wish Lucasfilm would devote more time to new characters expanding the Star Wars universe at the expense of good and interesting heroes without any Ray Palpatine and Screaming Finn. But knowing Disney, I wouldn't be surprised if the main character of the Tales of the Jedi is some Kylo Ren. So we are waiting for the official announcement. As always, 
write your opinion in the comments, subscribe to the channel and like the video if it was interesting to you. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon.